Hello, 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 and uh, again a heartfelt greetings here from Germany. It is so nice to be able to be with you here again. It's been quite some time and a lot of things have changed. And I'm so, 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 so happy for the first time really in my life. And I've been very much uh, uh, talking a lot about the theory. You know, realize to actualize, actually it's first about the idea you know, the, what we realize, what we know. And so I talk a lot about this knowledge and finding this knowledge from within yourself. Because ultimately this knowledge lies within each and every one of us. But then it is really about, well, the practice, the living it, uh, not just, well, the, the experience of it, but how to create something out of this experience. And so I just wanted to share with you, which is something that is very dear to my heart. And that is really like what lies within yourself, which is that we all are love. But to talk about it is one thing, to experience it is, is a whole different story. And so for the first time in my life, I really do experience love, I mean real love, and that's really amazing. Very, very grateful for that. And, uh, but I also find how much I have to learn as I've been really stuck in the realization and stuck in the talking about it and really the lecturing about it, as I really have found and embraced my inner teacher. But to really live that, to, to experience it, you know, to be it, this love, which, you know, again, we all are that. But it's very, very different to feel that with somebody who brings that out in you, that experience. And of course, it is not really just a matter of waiting for that or looking for that outside. There's this one person, and I think we all look for that. But in a way, we all are that, because we all are love. And love is all there is. And that is also the message again during this Christmas season, to with this message that really will unite us and help us to overcome our differences. And there's so much struggle in this world, and we all struggle side by side. I see this very much in, in Africa, as I've created a, an organization a growing organization, even though, I mean, we're very different, we're very unique, as I'm connected to many, many people on Facebook, and, and they know me, and they love me, they know about this love that I have for people, this caring heart. But ultimately, it's about people in Africa, especially learning how to love one another. And that is difficult there, because there's so much struggle and so much poverty, and everybody's struggling side by side. Everybody's looking for their own benefit. But I think that it's also like this in this world, because we have become very, very divided. We're very much going through this world side by side by side, everybody looking for their own benefit, everybody looking for love, looking for God, looking for happiness, looking for freedom, looking for peace, looking for change. But we're just looking outside of us. And the message is really actually that, hey, we are that. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the chosen ones. We are the people. I mean, those who control us, those who oppress us, those who divide us, those who benefit from war, they always existed. Actually, we have created them. And that is actually all the enemy, the idea that the enemy, we have found the enemy, but the enemy is not really outside of us, the enemy is us. And it really starts, the change of this world starts with a new consciousness, a new awareness, the realization that Yeah, it's all up to us. The change begins now. To become the change we want to see begins now. And it's also again with this Christmas, and you know how it is, we have been also conditioned to believe it's all about consuming, buying things, giving each other present. The greatest present actually of them all is, 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 is the present of being present with one another, really listening to each other, really making the effort to understand, through which we can overcome our conflict. We can overcome our need to argue with each other. I mean, why actually do people argue? I always ask myself that. And if you really think about that for yourself, you come to the realization that it is just about, hey, I, I feel you're wrong, so let me tell you what I think, so I argue with you. But if we learn to just accept each other for who we are and really listen to each other and learn each other, that is actually the idea behind the, 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 the first, the main realization I've come to find, life is learning. But it's not an academic learning, which also has distracted us from really learning about ourselves ourselves and really getting to know ourselves, getting to know one another, through which we can get to know ourselves. It is really this kind of learning, through which we also can find the truth which lies within each and every one of us, the truth which will set us free. And that is really the greatest present of them all. You know? 
giving this present to one another, learning to be present with one another, learning to be more kind. That's what we need. It's not about who's right and who's wrong. You know, the right. People are so much focused on their rights. You see, that's very much also in the political arena. You know, with what's going on in the United States with Donald Trump, you know, and all his supporters or those who do not support him. And we, we always are just so distracted because we, 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 we look at this, well, one individual. We look at, you know, those in power over us. But, you know, those never going to give us <coughs> what we are looking for. They can never give us the kind of freedom which we all deserve, which we all are, because we all are free. We were born free, we just became unfree. And so this is a very, very important time. 2020 is really there to yeah, move us in that direction, to really unite people, to bring people together, to overcome our differences. And then regardless of age or color or political belief or sexual orientation, all of these things which are superficial differences, deep down we're all one. Deep down we're more alike than we are different. And so I just wanted to share that message with you on this Sunday, the uh, yeah, last Sunday before Christmas. New year around the corner, new time, new changes, new experiences, new consciousness, new life. It's a new world. The world is changing. Mother Earth is very sick and we human beings have done a lot of damage. And in a way we all are responsible. We cannot just say it's the bad people outside of us. Or if, if we make it about a politician or we make it about the, the industry, you know, those who just create more waste. But we're all part of this consciousness because we're consuming and we're producing. Everybody functions in their job. Everybody has a boss. They have a boss. They have a boss. They have a boss. And that's really the problem with the authority outside of us. Real authority actually lies within ourselves. I don't want to make it too long. I just wanted to share this with you. I appreciate you watching. I send you many heartfelt Christmas greetings here from Germany. Wish you a great new year and all the best. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please also subscribe to my channel and uh, make a comment uh, on this video. You can also send me an email. I'm also available for personal coaching or more it's like guiding, really helping people to think. Communication is a very important element of that, so which we really create community. Also, I, I teach yeah, languages. I actually speak German. I am German. And, uh, but it's really about communication that comes from the heart to which we really connect one another, to which we can become connected because we're all connected. We all are one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you.